Hey guys, so I decided to make a video this week of basically prepping for spring break because spring break is coming up. So this is everything that I do to get ready for spring break. You know, all the stuff. I don't know. So first things first is I am getting my hair done. I'm just getting, see how there's like a line. I'm just getting my roots done today. And it's actually like four weeks before my spring break, but I have to get them done every few weeks. So it's like I have to get them done this week. So I figured I'll start the video today because I'm not going to get them done before spring break other than this day. So first things first, getting hair done and then I'm probably going to continue this video like weeks later when I go and like get my nails done and like all of that stuff so after my hair gets done you probably won't see me again until a few weeks but you guys will see me again in a few minutes so I guess it doesn't really matter that much but so my appointment starts in five minutes so I better get on up there Okay, so I got my hair done. I got my roots touched up so they're not dark. Yeah, and my hair is wet because I, I asked her not to blow dry it because I just try not to blow dry it because it is so dry that I don't need it any drier than it already is. So I just try not to use heat on it. So I just left with a wet head and it is 28 degrees outside, but um, I didn't really think that part through. I don't really think that much. Um, so step one, Step one for getting ready for spring break, doing the hair is complete. Also, one thing that I always do before spring break is I always go bathing suit shopping. And yes, I already have too many bathing suits, but I already have too many bathing suits. So I'm on Sheen. I think it's Sheen. I think that's how you pronounce it. Mm, we don't know. I don't know, you probably know. But I'm on the website and I'm going through all of their bathing suits right now. And when I see one I like, I just add it to my bag and then I go to my bag and like edit it. And they do have some like really cute bathing suits. The only problem is like a lot of their bathing suits are cheeky and I'm not one for cheeky bathing suits. So I'm not going to show you guys what bathing suits I picked out. You're just going to have to wait until I get them because I'm sending them here. I don't know how long it will take for them to arrive but I'll let you guys know so when I get them I will show you guys which ones I picked up. Okay so now that it is getting closer to spring break one thing, I always get a gel manicure because it lasts the longest and my spring break is a week away so I want to make sure that they last until then. I haven't decided what color I'm going to get. I'm a very indecisive person so even when I get there I probably won't decide what color I'm going to get. So that being said, let's go get these nails fixed because they have been looking atrocious for a long freaking time. So I just got back from getting my nails done. They are this blue color. I think it's perfect for spring. Super pretty spring color. Reminds me of, I don't know, just like a pretty blue sky vibes. And all of the bathing suits that I ordered have come in. I ordered them off of Sheen, I think is how you say it. And I'll lay them out and show you which ones I got. So this blue one I was the most excited for. It's velvet. It has a sports bra type look with crisscross straps in the back. I'm busting out of the top like a busted can of cinnamon rolls and this bottom is huge but it's also tiny because it's a freaking thong and I hate thongs. This orange one, super bright, super pretty. Makes you look so tan. It's just regular triangle. I absolutely love it. The bottoms are a little small but I can deal with them. And this pink is basically like the same type. Triangle, little small cheeky bikini bottoms we're okay with that and this white one is just super clean and another sports bra looking type of top with this really nice ribbed fabric it's actually really high quality and all of these are padded and they were all ten dollars or under so I'm very excited about my bathing suit purchase. I think I am going to do a separate video talking about these bathing suits compared to the Zaffle or Zaffle bathing suits that I have bought in the past and whether I think they are worth it. 
and if you're basically not getting scammed and stuff because pretty sure no one likes that. So, I got my bathing suits, I got my hair did, I got my nails did. All I have to really do is just some last minute shopping. Just for like little stuff, because really all I needed was a bathing suit. For the most part, this is what I do to get ready for spring break. All of the big major necessities. Now I just have to pack and get some last minute things. I don't like tanning before spring break, but also um, see if you're gonna work out before spring break, you might as well start like months in advance because I'm the person who always is like, oh, spring break's in a week, let me just start working out now, and it literally doesn't even do anything. Mm, so, <laughs> that could be another spring break prep, but um, eating healthy, working out, but for me, spring break is like eating junk food and not working out, so that's the way I look at it. I'm going to California, so there's going to be a lot of videos coming soon on that, so if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, and if you are subscribed, then I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.